I want to welcome everybody to series 27 of Sport Fishing on the Fly. Pretty amazing, you know, 27 years of doing show, the longest running fly fishing show in North America, and if not the world, I'm not even sure. We got a great premier show for you. It's Brian Chan and I fishing Stump Lake for a big rainbow trout using chronomids. So that's today as we take a sport fishing on the fly. Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First, Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy, rods and reels. Hook out. Oh, that's who's that? That's big. Uh, that's a Fraser Valley, eh, Brian? Yep, that's a look at that. Fat Fraser Valley. That is a beautiful Fraser oh, Valley. Man. Look at how fat he is across the back. Yeah. You know the Fraser Valleys, people, you know, mock them, but they're <laughs> beautiful fish, and they get big. And there he goes. You know that is the beauty of the Fraser Valley. They're just they're a big breed. They feed a ton. They they're, yeah, they're definitely more aggressive feeders than Panaska and other yeah. stranger rainbows. They eat anything and they eat often. And it's they the muscle. Perfect fish. It's a perfect <laughs> fish. I love it. Well, if it gets more like that, that's a good Don't micro leech. You bet. Well, we finally got into a couple. We just started and we've been on about a half an hour. We've caught a couple of small fish and a kokanee, which was pretty <laughs> <Yes>. cool. <laughs> we did some throat samples and only Chiabras pupa, right? Bry, always tough with Chiabras, but what we've always found early on, before the hatch starts, you know, leeches. Brian's got the vampire on. And you know that green head, I don't know, I, I seem to think the green head, the chartreuse, really kind of looks like Chiabras, doesn't it? It's, it's a light green, you know, it's, it's something. So I put on a small micro leech with a green head, you know, Brian's uh, BMW with a green head. And you know, that was my first drift through and this guy hit. So encouraging, hey Brian? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's encouraging. So I think we need a throat sample. Yeah. Do you mind taking a throat sample? Oh, <laughs> I'll, 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 just, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. He'll sacrifice for the team. Oh. And we're just hanging. You know, I'm hanging. Uh, we're in uh, 10 feet of water, hanging six, seven feet. But, and this but what we're doing is we're, because we've got the perfect frusky riffle, <laughs> we're casting into the wind and drifting back. Yeah. So we got the boat position so we can both cast directly into the wind. Yeah. and not nail each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I only bonked you once quickly yeah, until we reposition. But yeah, I mean, hard fighting fish. You know, he's not huge, but it's a good start, and he's a scrapper. And that's the beauty of, of stump. They are tough fish, really tough fish. You know this, Brian, this looks like a big kokanee. No, it's not. It's a rainbow. Geez, I thought that would be exceptional, but oh, there he is. Oh, beautiful, uh, beautiful colors on this fish, as we always say. A good starter fish. So what I'll do is I'll unbutton them, and then uh, I'll let you get a throat sample. And there's, 
So there's the fly music. You know, again, it's just a uh, the micro leech, the BMW with the green head. Works good, always good. So I'm gonna hand this off to you, and okay. you can do the throw tub. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> oh, it's a chunky fish. Yeah, it's a chunky fish. All right, we're gonna have a quick look. See if he's got anything in him. I'm gonna turn him upside down if I can. There we go. Cradle him. Yeah. Get the water out of the bulb. Slide it in. Nice. There we go. Oh, perfect. And we're gonna. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Nice fish to start. Nice and chunky. Yeah. Beautiful. So. So now the telltale. Yeah. <laughs> What's in there? We're gonna just, oh, oh, that's interesting. So there's Chiabras pupa. There's an, a big adult chronomid bomber in there. Oh. And some, uh, yeah, that's it, Chiabras pupa. One damsel nymph Yeah. and one, one big adult chronomid that he ate off the surface. Off the top. So, you know, we're, we're seeing a few fish on the surface, that's what they're doing. They're chasing yeah. egg-laying, egg-laying adult chronomids that hatched yesterday, fertilized eggs, and now they're they're uh, uh, releasing their eggs on the surface film. So really, nothing there to crank them up yet. Nothing yet. Yeah. Well, you know, it's it's, a, <laughs> it's we early. got up early today. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully we will get a few more. We'll do some more throat samples uh, and see. That's a good start. Yeah. Wow. Watch your feet. Yeah, gee, that was right. Right there again. I'm casting over here in shallower water, bro, I think. Towards here? You think I'm in like eight feet compared to 10? Because both of my fish I've picked up in there now. So what do you think? Maybe oh. we got to move in shallower? Yeah, or? I think we're Oh, gonna... look at this. This is a big oh. fish. <laughs> this is a nice fish. Oh, a... <laughs> oh that's what you expect that stuff. <laughs> Oh. The little green-headed micro leech is working good. You know, I tie it in all those different colors. Uh, the red yeah, bead, no, the we, green, the orange. That BMW. We've, we've it, got slightly murky water because whoa. the creek is running and fresh it right now. Right. So, you know, we, we put those chartreuse bead-headed patterns on and they seem to be uh, oh. yeah. en enough to attract them. Oh, man. I think this one's a healthy one, Bry. Oh yeah, he, I saw him. He looked pretty thick, didn't he? Again, I, I, I'm thinking we're not getting them out this way, right? You haven't had a hit out further. No. We, I'm getting them in there. And we're going to slide in we're a little shallower. We're going to have to slide in, yeah, for sure. Ooh, I just want to get this guy in so we can uh, we can get a throat sample because I want to see what the bigger fish are feeding. Yeah, get what's going on. Yeah, yeah. You get a better picture because those little guys will eat everything. Man, oh, come on. Oh, look at him dance. He's a good size. He's healthy. Oh, yeah. He looks to be in that, the big range. Ah, that's why I love, love a boat stump. You get these size fish. Wow. And you know, right away, too, the way the indicator went down, it's just not a, it's not a subtle little bump. It's, yeah. it was going. And that's, that's what the little fish have been yeah, bumping. Well, they haven't even, they haven't drowned an indicator yet. No. <laughs> Except these last two fish that you've got, they yeah. pulled her down. Yeah, they pulled her down. They're, they're feeding. Come on. I can't even get his head up. Oh. Gee. You know, and I've got, I've got 4X, 3 and 4X tippet. I mean, it's the power flex. It's seven pound. But, you know, one big head turn of these big oh. fish, and they'll Just get you. Take it easy. Yeah, I know. Look at that. Look how fat he is. Oh my, this is just an obese fish, Brian. Oh, oh. my, <laughs> look, at, look, at how, look at how fat that guy oh, is. Oh, Don. That is crazy. That's look a at, slob. Look at the point at the fish. Show everybody, you know, you can point at the fish. Yeah, look at that. Look at how fat he is. Oh. That's like a, it's like a coho salmon. Here. You'll have to refocus if you're going to get. Okay. Hang yeah, on. just yeah, refocus in there. Oh, and the flies out. Yeah, look at that. Look at how. Look at how fat he is. Oh. And look at that fish. 
Hey, I'm gonna refocus on you in just a sec. Okay. That fish ate that little micro leech right yep. there. Yeah. Look at that, that size. That's on a 14, oh. yep. you know. Oh, geez. look at this. I, we, we probably want to get a throat sample, but I'll try to, try to hold them up. Oh, man. Should we get a throat sample first? Yeah. Look at how fat he is, though. I can't get my hand around him. I know, I know. <laughs> uh, he's just so fat. Ryan's going to get a throat sample before I release him here. And... Oh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm <laughs> afraid he's... I don't want to... I'm afraid you want me to hold the net? Get out, yeah. Hold. Yeah, okay, I'll hold the net. Just, just so I get this. Yeah. Just so you can get a throat sample. Okay. Okay. All right, we got a throat sample, so now we'll release this guy. Look at I just cannot. So that's a beautiful black water. Is it? Look at how, I mean, look at how fat that fish is. Oh. Look at that. Like that is. Just a oh, <laughs> look as long as my fish. long as my arm. Just put him in the net for one more second. Okay, okay let let the, let this guy go. Oh, again, I'll just give him. A, look at that. Oh. Oh yeah. my, that's got to be eight pounds, eh, Brian? Oh yeah, it's a look how wide he oh, is. Oh, and he's just oh. wow, and there he goes. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> okay, we expect a good day. It's just starting. We're an hour in. You know, some nice fish. Let's get her going. Now yeah. let's check the throat sample, see what he was eating. Yep, okay. Let's see what he had. If he, did he have anything, Bri? I don't know. We're going to turn him on. We're going to squeeze it in. Oh, oh, it's interesting. <laughs> it's always interesting. He's got... Uh... So there's two tiny leeches in there. Oh. They're pretty much. Well, that's what he hit. He hit my leech. Yeah, so... That guy, that was his first bite of the day. That's good news. <laughs> that's good for us because yeah, they're coming good. on. You know, it's early. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. What a gorgeous fish, Don. I know. So I think we, what do you think? Move in a bit? I think we should just slide in just yeah, a titch. I yeah, I think so. I'm yeah, getting them all. Because we're not getting them out here, out in the bay. Two casts I've made in towards shore. You know, probably in eight feet of water from 10, I would have got them in there. So we'll slide in. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh boy, that's a good one. It's another, it's another chrome pig. Beautiful. <laughs> so what'd you put on? Oh, something out of Don's <laughs> box. <laughs> well, you know what? We, I had two right away, that big guy and another one. Yeah. You it's got... Just, what? What? They're on it. I know they love tiny, it. Tiny, tiny little leaf. Well, it's your pattern. I mean, it's the BMW yeah. with the green head. Oh, look at this guy. He just came in, Brian. Oh, look at how fat he is. Oh, he's oh. doing the head roll. I don't, he's doing the coho oh, he's doing. Oh, he's all wound oh, up. All right. You got a break. He's all wound up. Oh, oh another oh. slab. Oh. It's another toad. What a tub. What a. Another. Oh, my. Oh. Another gorgeous bow, man. These fish are oh. stunning. I got to get a picture of this. Yeah, I'm going to get right in there. Look at that oh my look at how fat he is by oh. fills in that and he's got to be he that's got it's another any meal. it's another eight pound fish well they're digging the little pattern so you know what we're gonna do right now bro let's go to the bench yep and tie yeah. that up what do you think i'll tie it for everybody so when we come back we'll release brian's fish. oh <laughs> oh don't lose them don't lose them Today on the bench, I want to tie you up the Vampire BMW Micro Jig Leech. Now, it's a small little fly, but sometimes in the spring and in the fall, the fish really key on these small flies. So again, this is a size 14. I even tie it on a size 16 jig hook. Make sure they're small and have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we'll use a size 14 Hannock H400BL. We'll tie with some ADOT black thread. We'll use a 764 inch slotted tungsten chartreuse bead as the bead, some black marabou for the tail, some red crystal flash for the tail highlight, some black marabou for the body, and some fine red wire for the rib. So to start the fly off, I put the bead on the hook, and I'm just gonna take some thread and get a little bit of a base layer tied on there, get the thread.
thread tied in. Now we're going to take a marabou feather, a black one, and I only want about three or four of these fibers. I want to keep the tail and the body quite thin. So if you look at it, there's about, there's about four or five. Just going to pull off, keep them even, and then pull it all the way back until you get a tail. So the tail we're going to have about as long, just slightly longer than the, than the hook bent or hook shank. And then we'll tie it in. all that material out of the way and just wrap it back to form a tail you can tell the tail is going to be quite small we want a nice thin tail on this fly go back around the tail and then over top and again the tail looks small but that's quite quite bit quite a lot for a small fly like this next we're going to take one of our one of our red crystal flash fibers just one Wrap it up on top of your thread and then pull it down as you tie it back, just pull it down on each side of the tail, just so you have two tail highlights. You don't want too much flash, just a little bit of flash and make them about the length of the tail. Just cut them to that length and you got two little, two little tail highlights. Now we've got all this extra material that we're going to use for the body. What I like to do is just wrap my thread forward, then bring this material back. And that is going to be the body material after we get the rib tied in. So bring that right back to your tail. So that's kind of back at the tail. So now take some fine red wire. What I like to do is go into this body material a little bit. Just put it in there. Just go through it. And that way it'll kind of hide that red wire as you tie it in once you wrap it and then just wrap all that right back to the tail come forward with your thread and leave it right behind the bead now we've got this material that we didn't waste so we're just going to take a little bit of that married but i'm going to take a few wraps wrap it uh you know i take about six seven wraps of that material and keep it pretty tight and once you got it wrapped, just put on some pliers and then wrap it forward. So what I'm doing is I'm wrapping it, probably there's one wrap, there's two, there's three, probably four wraps up to the top. That's quite nice and then I'm going to tie off. And you can see, you get the nice fibers built up. Just cut off your excess as close to the bead as possible. And then you have a nice head built there, right by the fly. And you want to make sure you have fibers all the way up. Now what we're going to do is take that fine red wire and just slowly wrap it forward. And as you wrap it forward, just try not to trap too many of those marabou fibers. And if you do, you can pull them out with, with some uh, Velcro clips after. And tie that right up to the head. Take a few wraps at the head. And never cut your wire. Just get a whirl them. You know, 360 type whirling, and that'll break right off your wire seamlessly. Now to finish it off, we've got all this material pulled back. We're just going to build up a little bit of a black collar there with a whip finisher. And this will help move this marabou back slightly so it looks good in the water. And I'd like to double whip finish. A lot of people finish with a head cement. I don't worry about it because my flies don't last that long. And I'm just going to cut off the thread there. So there it is, the finished Vampire BMW Micro Jig Leech. Like as I mentioned in the intro, it's a great pattern to have in the spring and the fall, especially in the spring as the chronomids are starting to hatch. It does imitate small leeches and even small chronomids. So make sure you have them in your fly box because they are deadly. Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First, Tellurium Corp. The future of mining. And hardy rods and reels. Look at that fish. Look at that. <laughs> That's a beautiful black water. Oh, just Absolutely gorgeous. Stunning. And how do you tell it's a black water? Because the spots? Just the spotting is, a, yeah. majority is above the lateral line. Okay. 
and uh, heavily spotted tail. Yeah. Oh, he's mad now. No, he's not happy. All right, we'll let him go. We got to get some more. I mean, that's that's just phenomenal right now. Look at that. There he goes. Wow. Oh, oh. that looked like a steelhead, Brian. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> man. Yeah. Now we've Beautiful. been working hard. But we, we got dialed in with that pattern, right? It just yeah. keeps changing. We changed about yeah. 10, 12 patterns and we're dialed in. Right on. <laughs> Let's get to work. So you probably you mentioned all my fish about the fresky riffle and how we're drifting upstream. Yeah, so to this morning, we've got the perfect gentle breeze coming across the lake so we can position the boat so we can both cast perpendicular into the wind. And that allows us to have a basically a drag-free drift coming back to us. We've got our tungsten bead-headed uh, leeches tied on with a non-slip lube knot so that fly is just undulating up and down as it drifts naturally towards us. And then we can impart a, the odd quick twitch just to catch the attention of a fish going by. But it, the key thing is the fly is drifting slowly and it's not being whipped across or through the water by a strong wind. So you can only do it when we've got that gentle breeze. You cast straight in and then just continually pick up the slack as that fly drifts towards you and wait for that indicator to do the <laughs> submarine goes straight dive. straight down, exactly. <laughs> and their critical point, you got to have that nice little fresky riffle that we have right now. You can cast straight up into straight the wind. Up. Perfect. There you go. There, let her sit and let her come back with the wind. And then just let her drift back. And this is, this is just a perfect riffle Oh, it's right the now. perfect riffle. Yeah. So what you putting on there, Bri? I just... We're going to try some coronamids. I got to put a bomber on because we're seeing, and you know, we started out with leeches this morning because there's nothing, nothing hatching at all, but we're finally starting to see a few shucks, small guys. There's definitely some Chiabras hatching, but we're seeing bomber shucks now, and we're seeing bombers like that guy yeah. flying by, and they're not egg layers, so, and the swallows have just come out. So I think you're going to continue with the leech. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to try the chronomid just to see. But in the last five minutes, the swallows have finally come out. So something could happen here. But uh, typically, spring, early summer, it's leeches in the morning. You wait for the chronomids to start coming off. And then those fish normally switch to the chronomids because there's so many of them in the water column. Well, catch one on the chrony and then I can change. Yeah. I okay. yeah, can try it. <laughs> so we're moving, Bry. You know, it slowed down in that shallow water. Oh. Yeah, but we got some beautiful fish. Well, we got our got big <laughs> fish, but, you know, lately the, the hatches have been in deeper water, like 18 to 20 feet. So it's, you know, it's 1030. It's about the right time. If they're going to start eating them or the bugs are going to start going, should be about now. And we've got the conditions to do it right now. So it's worth having having a look, go out, spend half an hour out here. If nothing happens, we can go back or we can head, head down the lake. Yeah. yeah, got options. Beautiful day, so yeah. I mean, rain this morning, cleared off now, and oh, then we expect big winds later, but we'll see. Yeah, that's right. Oh, <laughs> I just brought a little fish in, and that's the throat sample. Oh, oh Bri, and you oh. going on. Oh, <laughs> just like that on the crony. I think we're getting into them. You, did you see all those chronomids? Oh, you lost them. Awesome. Look at that. This is epic. <laughs> this is what every chronomid fishman wants to see. You gotta love it. It couldn't even get through the pump. There were so many. Well, we'll get them I in the vial. We got, you yeah. know, we, we gotta be willing to move back, forth, shallow, deep. If you, we know that they gotta be coming off. 20 feet, unbelievable. There They're coming off. Truth. They're cool. <laughs> you got dialed in, Brian. Oh, oh gee. Just big air time. You know, we just... Oh, 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 Nice. Oh, he's way over here. Oh, no. I gotta get him under. Get him under. Hang on, I got a pop. Well, there you got a pop. Yeah, exactly. It's all about... You know, we just... We did that pump on that 
fish you caught, that smaller one, yeah. filled it. You know, we've matched it and we've both had first flips, we've both had fish yeah. on. Isn't that crazy? Oh, I got a nice one. Oh no. I got a, hold it. Hold it. Oh man. We got a, we got a double header. Holy, oh this one's a nice one too. It feels heavy. Oh man. This one's a good one. Is it? Yeah, it is. He feels okay. heavy. All right, this guy's going. He's going? Okay. <laughs> okay, there he goes. I think this one's a heavy one, Bri. Shit, I lost my fly. He feels heavy. Oh, oh man. Dang yeah, man. he's he's a heavy one. This is a good one. <laughs> I love it. Look at this. When do you ever see these conditions? On stump, we got dead calm. We got a beautiful chronomid hatch going. We've matched the hatch, and uh, you just land on that guy. This one, I think this one's a healthy one. It feels good. And we're fishing 20 feet. We're hanging 18, fishing 20 feet. And this, I don't know, Bry. He feels heavy. I hate to say how big he is. Oh, he's big. Oh, oh, whoa. So, as Brian mentioned, you got to be willing to change. You know, we tried the leeches in early, got some beautiful fish, and then they were off. You know, we waited 20 minutes, moved around a bit, nothing. Started to see more chronomus come off, right? Lots of little chiabras, some big bombers. You said, let's go, 20 feet, yeah. let's go check it out. As soon yeah. as we got here, first two casts, bam. Yeah. And this one is, <laughs> I just can't believe it. This is awesome. This is a good sized fish. Not as big, not as big as our first ones, but still healthy. Look at the scrap. Whoa. Man. That's the thing. You just got to keep directing them. Oh, yeah. Another. Another healthy. Get the net. Okay. Oh, man. Oh. It's the thing with chronoming too, we got fine tippets on. I've got a, I've got a yeah. seven pound 4X, yeah. so you can't really can't muscle them too much. Look at that. Classic, look at the chrony. Right in the top lip. Oh, look at that size fish on a chronomid. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. Yeah. Just gorgeous. Look at right where you got oh. it, right in the top lip. Oh, okay, let's get them out here. So we matched. You know, I saw one I really like is the, uh, is I've got the red and black rib. You yep. know, that's one of my favorites. The, the window tint yep. with the red and black rib with yeah. the white bead, and only the white bead because of the murky water. Yeah. Normally I'll use a black tungsten, black nickel. Yeah. But that was it. So this guy loved it. We kind of know what they're eating. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So. And got a shot of him. Oh, look at that. Again, just a beautiful, healthy bow. Just yep. gorgeous. He's gonna go. But look at how fat they are. And what kind of oh, oh, oh. what kind of fish is that? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Is I don't know. Looks like a no, one that's from the creek. Oh, okay. You know, natural spawning. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Let's get our flies out again, oh. Brian. Okay. Sport fishing on the fly is brought to you by Maui Jim sunglasses. First, Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy, rods and reels. Another one, Bry. <laughs> We're into him steady. <laughs> we got steady action. You got a multitask now. I know, it's crazy. I gotta watch my bobber out there. I shouldn't leave it out there. Damn it, it didn't release. Yeah. It's always a tough part, getting that release of the bobber. <laughs> Looks like a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh, it's nice. Just to be on the safe side, I am going to bring my line in. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you guys, well, you get this one in. Oh. Yeah, it's it's flat calm conditions right now. That, those fish want the fly moving. A so little tweak. You know, we let her sink straight up and down, and then 
a couple quick twitches, let it sit, maybe for another 20 seconds, and then give it a couple twitches. Every time, isn't it? It's every time. So there she you goes go. Down. When you get these calm conditions, it is. It does help to have a little tweak on the fly. This one's a nice one, Bryce. Give me yeah, a yeah. tussle. This one's a good one. Oh yeah. <laughs> every time, every time I ask you, how is it, Brian? You're like, I don't know. We'll wait and see. <laughs> I mean, how does he feel for a wait? Well, you know, we've we've caught a bunch of small ones, and yeah. then all of a sudden those two big ones showed up this morning. Yeah. So you just never know. And now, yeah. definitely, there's some small ones jumping, flipping out here, but the big ones are on the bottom. They're on the bottom. Yeah, so I'm, I'm hanging 18. I'm about two feet off the bottom. How far are you off the bottom? I'm a, I'm a foot and a half off. Foot and a half. Okay. So I, similar. I can't budget. This you guy does this not want to come up. Wow, where is he? I, got, I haven't seen him yet. Oh. Holy cow, Bri. <laughs> he's pissed. Jeez, he's got to be a nice fish. He's pulling hard. Pulling really hard. Oh, look at this guy. Yikes. Holy cow, I can't believe it. I thought it was going to come up. Look at that, yeah, and he's just taking his time. You know, when you set the hook and he went on a bit of a run, you thought, oh, okay, he's decent. But then <laughs> you can't even get him up. Oh. 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 He's coming. Oh, there he's, he's coming, coming up. up. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that's a nice fish. <laughs> Came up. <laughs> we saw him that time. That was almost like a tarpon. He come up yeah. just like tarpon there. That was so cool. Oh man, what a oh, day. This is a, this is a chunk. It is a chunk. It's a beautiful fish. And you know, such steady action right now, I couldn't leave my fly in the water. There's no way I'd lose a rod. <laughs> it's crazy. He's working you, bro. He's working you. Seven and a half pound. But yeah, seven and a half pound You can't force them. I know. No, it's the, you know, you have to be fairly delicate with the chronomids for sure. Yeah, you can't get him up there, can you? Come Look on. Him. He's just sitting down there. He's just sulking. Oh, whoa. Holy cow. This is crazy. He's got depth to run down yeah. to sound. You know, we, <laughs> when those fish we caught in shallow water, they had to go out. <laughs> well, we're going to see him pretty soon. We saw the one jump, but we'll see him soon. I see her. I see her bobber. <laughs> oh. I see her indicator, but he just won't come up. Oh, another just like a, oh, unbelievable. I th hey, I saw him. I think he's as big as the ones we got this morning. He's got to be like eight pounds. Couldn't be bigger by, I don't know. I saw he was thick. Oh, he's big. You're getting there. He's getting tired. If you'd ever turn him in the net. Oh, you had him, Brian. You had his head up. There, I got him. Oh, I got him. Holy cow. Oh, man. Oh. What a chunk. He's a, they're just so stout. Oh, they ever. Now look at that. Just gorgeous. That's the best fight I've had in a long, long no time. No kidding. That was epic battle, wasn't it? Just epic. Oh, gee, look at that. It's like holding the salmon. What's that? Right on the top lip, eh? Yeah. Right on the very top. Unreal. Look at the size. Oh, That's my. <laughs> Don, this okay. is... Okay. Oh, 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 That's the strongest fish I've <laughs> caught in a long time. That looks like a little mini salmon. Oh. It's just gorgeous. gorgeous. fish. Oh. Okay, there he is. Oh. oh, there he goes. Yeah, Jenner. That's, That's an epic fish. Was that ever? <laughs> what a battle. You can take a break. I'll catch a couple now. Oh, that's just, take a break what a day. Already. This is fantastic. Oh my. Th those, those fish are perfect. They're perfect finned. They're deep. Yeah. And pull, pull hard. You can't this ask is, for anything. Oh, this, this is world class. <laughs> this is world class. It's <laughs> fantastic. Oh, I'm just loving it.
Oh, okay, we're rolling. Feels heavy, man. It feels. I just love it when I, when you feel those big head shakes. It's just crazy. You know they're. Oh yeah, this is this is another good one, Brian. He feels heavy, you know, until you see him. But you could tell, just the way they slosh, you know, big no. head t head oh, shakes. You could those head shakes. Oh. They're not tail shakes. Those are no, head. Shakes. These are big, big head shakes. And he looks. Oh man, just like you, I had trouble getting them up. Oh, it is a trophy lake. Let's see. Oh, I saw him. He looks about the same as your last one. <laughs> oh, he's, yeah, he's definitely got some. Oh, look at oh. that. Oh, gone. Oh, my. Oh, my. Hey, I got to put the camera down for a minute. Okay. I got to get this out of the water. Oh, this is a heavy fish. Oh, look at that, Brian. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, let me know when you're going here. Now. Oh, <laughs> it's another toad. I don't he's, think he's, you're going to have to trip your indicator. I know it is tripped. Oh, That's tripped. where my, uh, it's right where my, um, I've got an attachment. Oh. Oh, no, That's I like another. it. I like it there. It's another beast. Like, look at this. I don't know if you can see him down there, but I'm trying to get him up. Oh, it's, it's got to be same as that seven, eight pounds, it's, it's, right? It's seven, eight, maybe oh, more. Oh, jeez. Look at that on a small. Oh, it's more. It's more. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 It's a big fish, Brian. It's a very big fish. It's a big fish. Holy cow. And you gotta be so careful with these guys. Cause uh, you know, again, one head shake and they'll bust that leader like nothing. So you just, you know, just work them up, take your time. You know, I'm just using the rod. That's the big thing that people don't do. See the bend of my rod? Use that rod to get their head up. Once their head's up, you can sometimes slide them in the net, but this is a very large fish. Oh, look at that. Look at it. And he's right in the very, just in the top lip. Oh, he's, I mean, just. he's just there. Oh, okay, here he's coming. I might be able to get him this time. I, oh, I just can't put any heat on him. Man. Oh. Hey, Don, when I, when I focus on him, do I have to refocus? Just focus, yeah. Then you have to just refocus on me. Like as long as it focused on me now, he'll be in focus. Okay. Yeah. Oh man, it's just so tough. Nice man. fish. Oh, I know, but it's just. Oh man, every time you think you got him, and you no. can't. You know, you you try to horse that fish, you'll break him. Yeah, there's, I know. There's too much body mass yeah, there. Yeah. All he has to do is shake his head the wrong way. And, and you'll done. pop them. Yeah, if you don't, exactly. If you don't give them. Oh, it's just so tough. So tough, Bri. Oh, man. Look. Oh, gee. They just barely hooked. Right on the top lip. I could just. Oh, just can't get his head up enough to. Oh. oh man. Okay, you can you can stop recording and then we'll try to get him in the net oh. maybe. Wow, oh. that's the uh that's my biggest fish of the year for sure. He's just yes. look at that little cronman right in the that little crony right in the top lip. This, this thing has to be how this big. This thing is astounding. It's I can't fit him. That's gotta be that's got to be 10 plus oh, yeah, pounds. Ten. Look at that. Look oh, at the look of that. <laughs> look at the size of that. I just can't believe it. That's got to be 10, Brian. Oh yeah, it's 10. I guarantee you it's 10. All right. Epic battle. 
Our net's going away, but look at that. Yep. Look, at, yep. look at the size of that, Brian. That is just massive. Look at the back on him. Wow. Okay, I'm going to let him go. Our net's going away, but here he goes. That's, that is the fish. That is fish of the year. That's the biggest one I've got this year by far. <laughs> that was huge. Oh. <laughs> on a little, on a little bomber chrono, well, you know, size, oh, wow. uh, size 12, 2x long chronomen. Awesome. Isn't that cool? Oh, that's cool. Wow. Yeah. I'm done. Well, we had to head back to do the extra. <laughs> you know what that means? <laughs> it was windy and pouring rain when we pulled out. It was ugly. Well, look at it here. It's still it's not raining. Much better. I mean, it's not much better, but at least it's a lot better than it was. You know what? You know, our favorite lake, Stump Lake, is always one of our favorites. Why is it so good now? Why? Oh, What's it's, going it's on? such a productive body of water. The water chemistry is good, and the fish grow big. It's managed uh, well by the, grow the ministry. Grow big? Are you kidding me? And the Freshwater Society is yeah. stocking, you know, the different strains in there, and that was an epic day on the water. Was it ever? And, you know, we got a, a few yummy morsels you got to bring home. Yeah. The kokanee, right? And we got three kokanee. Yeah. I mean, that's a bonus. Just a bonus. <laughs> But you know, we got a great series coming up. This is the premiere show of series 27. We got a really excited, exciting <laughs> series coming forward. We got more shows with Brian, the Bulldog. We've got Kathy Ruddick. We've got Deb Pascal's gonna join me for a show. So we got some pretty cool shows yeah. coming up. But when you're out here, take care. Conserve waters and we'll see you next time we take a sport fishing on the fly. What an epic oh. day, Mr. Chad. <laughs> yeah.